The state's new DEP commissioner says his department is realigning staff to prepare for infrastructure and transportation projects. Those projects would be funded by the federal economic stimulus package being debated in Washington. The Corzine administration wants to be ready once the money starts to flow. Environment correspondent Ed Rogers reports. Speaking before the Senate Environment Committee today, Acting DEP Commissioner Mark Moriello said some staff had already been reassigned to handle the permits and administrative work for transportation projects that would be funded by the stimulus package. Elsewhere in our division of uh, water quality uh, that manages the wastewater and the water infrastructure projects, uh, we've reallocated about four or five staff to, uh, to help with prioritizing those projects. Moriello says there is no shortage of environmental projects in New Jersey that could use the funding. There's a lot of old, decrepit infrastructure in the state, wastewater and water supply infrastructure, pipes and systems that uh, we have known about and we have uh, prioritized these annually through our EIT program. We just never have enough money to do all these projects. So we, we are geared up pretty well because we have an existing model through the existing loan program that's out there. The Senate version of the stimulus bill contains more than $45 billion in environmental and green technology funding. The DEP chief says four to six billion would go for infrastructure nationwide. What we're trying to do is suggest uh, the best of both bills, which would be the highest possible pot of money for the projects because it has the direct impact on, on jobs uh, and also uh, flexibility for the states in terms of managing the projects. But environmentalists are worried about the impact on a department that they say already lacks enough resources. DEP is down 400 employees just from two years ago. They keep saying we've got to privatize or outsource things in DEP because we don't have the staff, and now we're diverting more staff. If the governor is really serious and wants to cut into this, get this money from the feds, then they should eliminate, get rid of the hiring freeze and let DEP actually have enough staff to do their jobs. How quickly could some of this work and jobs be created? Although the details aren't final, Commissioner Moriello says the stimulus bill might require some of the contracts for projects to be awarded six months before bids go out. Jim? Thank you for that report, Ed.